Good morning everybody and this is your Forex technical analysis for today. So starting off with Euro USD as usual and uh, pretty much nothing's, nothing's happening at the moment. We are waiting for data coming out today. We're waiting for CPI data which is going to be a big indicator on um, inflation going forward. So um, that's kind of the, the situation we're in at the moment. The trend is still down. Uh, it's been down for quite some time apart from this little attempt at a correction. But uh, we're looking for opportunity to sell into this. Nothing really materialized yesterday. And uh, you can see on the hour, we sort of raised a bit. Uh, didn't really get back onto any structure that would assist us. So um, we would have expected us to get back to this area here at 117.514. And uh, didn't do that. So basically what we're doing is we are waiting for data and then I'm just going to adjust these two levels here because that's kind of what it looks like. So it's one of those two areas, uh, either 117.422 or alternatively 117.329. So oscillators are starting to grip the upside. I'm definitely looking for opportunity to sell into this. So uh, what we need to do is just wait for structure and then we'll be able to sell into it. So sit on hands for now until uh, the data comes out later today. Uh, US dollar, Japanese yen, uh, be one way traffic, haven't really had the pullback. We're looking for a pullback to buy into uh, uh, US dollar, Japanese yen and uh, that hasn't happened yet. So uh, you can see on the hour the trend is pretty solid to the upside. So I suppose technically speaking, we're looking to buy off the trend line, um, but I'd prefer to be buying off structure. So at the moment, there is a gap at the moment, so I would expect us to come back down somewhere into this area here, uh, which would test the previous highs of yesterday. So that's 110,559. But that's also another one. Uh, sit on hands and wait for the data to come out and then look for structure to buy off. So um, yeah, this is a pretty solid uptrend. So you have. Know, I'd feel fairly comfortable buying a gap close. But uh, as I say, just wait for the data. You know, day to day is always uh, a day which can send the market in multiple different directions. So moving across to um, British pound, Japanese yen. And you can see we are pretty much range bound. Uh, this inverse head and shoulders pattern is almost complete. Now the trick is to wait for a break. And uh, we've been waiting for that all week at the moment. So 153437 is the area we need to wait for. And for me at the moment, we are still sideways. Uh, lots of uh, sideways price action still flirting around with that trend line as well. So uh, I want to see a break and I want to see a break to the upside. So sitting on hands on this until we see some structure as well. We're sideways at the moment, don't want to be trading sideways. So structure is one of two things. Either a, you can see we, we did get a decent test here. We've got two bar test of this area, and then we've got a rejection bar. So I want to see a, a test and then a confirmation bar, which will get us uh, get us going long. So at the moment, this is the line in the sand, 153. So that's the line in the sand at the moment. That seems to be where everybody's uh, waiting for something to happen. So uh, that's exactly what we will do as well. We will sit and wait to see what uh, what is going to happen. So uh, no real opportunity there with it going sideways. And uh, Euro, British Pound, we are down on uh, weekly and monthly uh, support down here. Pretty decent pattern here with two pin bars with diversion. So you can see oscillators moving up while price is moving down. So we've got a little bit of diversions. We, we're back at the trend line as well. And this is this current trend line, downward trend line. So. Uh, yeah, this is another one which we're expecting to fall further, but because we're expecting it to fall further, it could very well go against us. So at the moment, I'm very keen to see what transpires pretty much in this area. Uh, I'm just going to put a zone in here because that is the structure at the moment. So I'm looking for a break and retest of 084715 so at the moment we've gapped up as well for a move to the upside but look at the oscillators and we've also got some diversions on the hour you can see low higher low uh, where is that it's low lower low 
So we do have some price diversion. This is looking like an area to sell off. So uh, we'll wait and see what happens at the European Open um, because that would drive, that would actually give us indication that we're looking for. So I'm definitely looking to sell this. Uh, a break and retest of 084715 will definitely be on the cards or a double top somewhere up here at 084768 would also be uh, an indicator that we need to sell off this. So um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing at the moment. Just be cautious for that eight hour. The eight hour is indicating that we are a little bit um, oversold and it does look like it's trying to build some sort of a base. So you could go into a range or it could have a bigger jump up to test one of the eight hour levels higher up before looking to continue to the downside. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Uh, very much wait and see on Forex this morning. Uh, we'll wait for the European Open, see what happens there. If nothing happens there, then we'll move on and wait for the US Open and see if uh, we get some catalyst there that's gonna drive uh, price action. Anyway, that's it for me on Forex, hope it helps. And uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.